jury trial is where instead of one judge making a decision about your children or your property or whatever issues they're going to be asked about, you're having 12 citizens in your, your community make those decisions for you. So clients find me to try jury trials because of experience. I tell clients, you know, ask your lawyer, when's the last time you've tried a jury trial to a verdict? A lot of times clients are surprised by the answer. We have experience trying jury trials and that's why people hire us for them. Depending on their case, there are certain scenarios where that person may do better with a jury than a judge. That could be just because of the individual judge they're in front of. Again, this is where it becomes important to know the judges. It could be just because perhaps this judge has, has actually heard a number of matters in the divorce and they want a fresh start with a jury who doesn't know them and hasn't formed an opinion. Another reason is you think that there's a, a policy reason that a judge isn't going to give you what you want. Sometimes in our busy court systems, judges have an incentive to move cases along or to make predictable rulings where you think you have a very specific situation or you need more time and therefore a judge wouldn't be the best place to do that. In a child custody case, what a jury can determine is which parent has the right to establish the primary residence of the child. In other words, who gets custody. The jury can decide whether or not parents are joint managing conservators or one parent is a sole managing conservator. And a jury can decide where parents live. A jury can decide if there's going to be a geographic restriction and if there is, what that restriction will be. You want to begin thinking about a jury early on in your case but you're going to have to make that election at least 30 days before the trial. Quite frequently, electing a jury may postpone the trial. Sometimes it won't. It may postpone it depending on the county uh, for a long period of time. It may be a short postponement. So you want to make these decisions early on if you can because most people want their divorce over relatively quickly less expensive to them, and uh, they want to move on with their lives. Now in a divorce, what a jury can determine is fault in the break of the marriage. They can determine whether or not property is separate or community, and they can determine what the value of property is. What a jury won't decide in a divorce case is how assets are divided or who gets what in the divorce. Juries can also decide other causes of action that may be brought in a divorce. For example, if there's an assault cause of action brought in a divorce, the jury will decide whether or not one spouse is liable to the other and what the damages are. You know, frankly, a lot of times I make a jury demand because I think that 12 peers or six peers will just give a better shake for my client than a judge may do. It's really important that you hire a law firm that's tried jury trials before. You know, frankly, a lot of times I make a jury demand and the other side settles the case because the lawyer has no experience trying a jury trial.